Good evening, everybody. Can you all hear me? If I could get a thumbs up. Yep. Okay. My name's Chris, and I'm part of the core team at East Point Peace Academy, and it's my uh, honor to to welcome Lou into this space and to welcome all of you into this space. I want to start by just acknowledging uh, the land that that I'm on right now is the land of the Chichenyo Ohlone people. It's unceded territory, and I'm deeply grateful to be able to live and work and play and learn and live my life here, raise my daughter here, and just want to um, offer just a word of deep gratitude to the Ohlone people for stewarding this land for generations before I and any of us got here. And I want to invite those of you in other places to go ahead and click on the chat and share with us the territory that you are calling in from. Uh, so we can just get a, a sense of, yeah, the incredible places that are represented by those of us who've assembled tonight. And uh, I'm pretty sure by this point, everyone's an expert on Zoom, but that chat feature is just there on the bottom menu. Go ahead and click on that. And uh, hopefully we'll begin to see some different areas there. See Dakota, Dakota land near Minneapolis. Thank you. I'm just gonna say a few other words uh, by way of welcome. Yeah, great. We're beginning to see some, some tribes acknowledged and beautiful territories in different parts of our country. Thank you. Um, also on the bottom of your screen, you'll, you'll hopefully see uh, an option there to enable uh, closed captioning. For anyone uh, for whom that would be helpful, please make use of that if you need it. Just a, a loving sort of reminder that we're all gonna take care of our physical needs as we need to. If that means turning off your screen to give your eyes a rest for a while, getting up and moving around, uh, using the restroom as needed, all of that, please just let's take care of ourselves and our, and our bodies. Um, and uh, I wanna just let you all know that this is part of, uh, this offering is part of a series of offerings uh, at East Point that we're really excited to be um, bringing to our community. Uh, we're, we're offering just a series of, of trainings and presentations under the sort of banner of preparing together uh, as we head towards this historic election coming up uh, in just 10 days or so now. Um, we've been getting just incredible teachers and thought leaders to, to offer um, different skills and just pieces of the puzzle we're trying to assemble so that we can show up for what's coming um, with as much heart and groundedness as possible. And I'm super excited to have Lou uh, join us in that. And one of the ways that, that we sometimes introduce our presenters is actually to invite those who are participating to share a few words about your own experience of Lou and his work and what it's meant to you. So instead of just having me kind of read off the bio and you know tell you what a great person it is, it, it, it actually is very meaningful for those of us who know Lou and have been touched by his work, just to say a, a sentence or two about, about him and his work and what it's meant to you. So I wanna just invite a couple of volunteers, people who, who know Lou and his work to, to go ahead and, and do that. Help me to introduce him to the rest of the group. And you should be able to unmute yourself. So just feel free, go ahead and do that. Any volunteers? Hi, uh, it's Doug here, Doug McLean. Uh, I've... Brother Lou has like, uh, you know, when I first met him, it was uh, before an Albany action where 55 people got arrested and the governor's, you know, all the power there and, and, and this, the, this 
song part of that just transcended you know just took the whole action to a whole nother level and you know the, the sound of people singing in the echoey halls of of that would just it just it just, you know as, as lou sometimes says you know sing it like a prayer it, you know it 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 brought the the whole energy up to a whole different level of of that kind of activism so and at, at so many other frontline things in new york city that i've you know had the pleasure of being with lou and 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 on Randall's Island, and uh, you know, he he was up there, you know, on stage singing. That's you know, Nako and other people on stage and that kind of thing. So yeah, Blue, so happy that you're there. Thank you. Thanks so I'm much. Muting myself now. Appreciate it, Doug. Let's have someone else join in introducing Lou to the rest of us. Someone who's been touched by his work. Just go ahead and unmute yourself and say whatever's on your heart by way of introduction for Lou. This is uh, David Solnit from Maloney Land in Berkeley. And uh, as we're preparing to do street murals with uh, East Point Peace Center, uh, reflecting back uh, a couple years ago when uh, Lou and the Peace Poets led 10,000 people in singing together as we were painting the streets of San Francisco for climate justice and looking forward in a week when hopefully that will be tens or hundreds of thousands echoed through our own voices. So, so appreciative of uh, your work, Lou, and the Peace Poets. Thanks, David. Great. Yeah, and I'll just I'll just add to the introduction, Lou, how meaningful it was to me that with very short notice, you recently jumped into a project that was really meaningful to me personally, but also to many of us here in Oakland, the reparations procession that we did this summer. And the way that you imbued music into an otherwise silent uh, procession was such a a, a beautiful offering and 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 just added an element that that was was needed you know it was the it was the right the right word for the moment and uh the spirit in which you brought that was just really inspiring and wonderful so thanks for your heart for your work and uh i'll happily pass it back to you now Thank you so much. Thank you for that love. Thank you for those words. Um, I also want to just begin with gratitude tonight. Uh, it's so beautiful to see y'all faces, seeing loved ones that I haven't seen in a minute. Um, and so I want to give gratitude uh, just to Creator for us all being able to be alive. Um, I want to give gratitude to our ancestors uh, who struggled and loved so we could be here, our elders who have taught us and keep teaching them our children who keep us laughing, uh, our friends and our family, uh, each one of y'all friends and family for whatever way they love you. I just wanna, I just wanna give gratitude. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. And sometimes gratitude can seem like an idea in our minds, but hopefully tonight it can be a, a feeling in our whole being, in our whole spirit. So if you feel a little bit nervous and you feel a little like, tight because times are crazy and a little bit worried. I want you to let, just relax a little bit to let that gratitude in. You know, you got to kind of open the door of your, of your being sometimes to welcome that gratitude in. Um, and so, uh, we're going to, we're going to travel together tonight. And so, uh, because we're going to do that, I want to use this first song to just, just give this song to you in the, in the hopes that humility and gratitude can be present in our gathering this evening. Um, so uh, to each of you, wherever you are, um, that humility may fill us with power and gratitude may remind us that we are enough. I'm just gonna sing this to you real quick uh, to, to officially welcome you like this. Lou, Lou, I apologize for interrupting right before you sing, but I am wondering if, is there any chance that you can boost your volume a little bit? Yeah. Thank Great. you so much. I always interrupt for the sake of the sound. Yeah, yeah, I think that's better. Thank you. <laughs> okay, cool. I actually can move this over too. I got a mic right here. 
Um, and so that's good. So I'll probably sing a lot louder than I speak, but that's sounding good. All right. If it sounds too loud, maybe give me one of... Uh, <laughs> I like that. That's all right, Sarah. This is one of these. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, this is to, to welcome us. Humility is filling me with power, the power to listen and love. And gratitude is giving me the courage to remember that we are enough. Try to feel that. Humility is filling me with power, the power to listen and love. And gratitude is giving me the courage to remember that we are enough. So thank you for receiving that gift uh, that we may have humility and gratitude with us as we gather. So like I said, I am inviting you all, each one of you to be down to travel with me tonight. We're going to be traveling to places where a lot of you have been before. That is moments of action. We're going to travel to places in which we're gathered with our people in the streets. We're going to travel to the steps of city halls. We're going to travel to the middle of highways because these might be places where we find ourselves over the next couple months and we want to be in the practice of not just knowing a song to sing in our living rooms or our kitchens, but we want to know a song that we may sing in the street. And so for that purpose, we are going to travel together. I thank y'all and give so much gratitude also for y'all um, being willing to, if you can, and uh, inspire each other too with the video and putting it on. That's amazing. And if you can't, I understand. But part of the traveling together is getting to see each other in the moment. Uh, and we're going to start. We're going to jump right into it because right now people are organizing to get out the vote. And part of defending democracy and, and stopping coup is gonna is actually the organizing that's happening in this moment. So the first place that we are gonna travel tonight, my people get ready for the time machine, here it comes. Um, so we're gonna go out to, uh, to Arizona where people are door knocking in one of the most critical states. Uh, and if you feel like you really feel present to the place where you are also doing get out the vote work, you go ahead and imagine that you're right where you need to be. But the, for the most part, we out here. We're in Arizona. It's a time where there's about 30 of us here and we're about to go door knock in a neighborhood to make sure our neighbors show up to vote because voting is essential. Um, so welcome to this meeting. I'm glad you are here. Thank you for taking time out of your day to get out the vote here in Arizona. What we're going to do is we're going to start with a chant to make sure that we're connected, that we're motivated, that we are not just here because we think it's our civic duty, but because we are powerful agents of change. And so right now, without further ado, we're going to sing this song. This song to me is important because it's about using this moment, not just for an election, but to build the power we always need. This is about voting and organizing. This is about for me, personally, it's about building a world that my loved ones deserve, my community deserve. And so what I know is that that's going to require organizing, not just voting. And so we're going to sing this song. First, before we sing it, we're going to say the words. So if you don't mind, let me see y'all say, we're going to vote and organize. Y'all doing it perfectly. Y'all already know to stay on mute, but you're doing it just like that, just like that. Because <clears throat> freedom won't come. Because freedom won't come. Till the people rise. We're going to say that one more time like it's a promise. We're going to vote and organize. Because freedom won't come till the people rise. Y'all sound amazing. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and sing it, and you're going to hear the melody one time and jump in as feels comfortable, and we're going to turn up in this room right here. Remember, we're about to take the streets to get out the vote, to door knock, to let people know what they got to do, so we're going to sing it like we mean it. Here we go, family. Let's do this. We're going to vote and organize, because freedom won't come till the people rise. We're going to vote and organize organize because freedom won't come till the people rise try that vote and 
organize because freedom won't come till the people right say it vote and organize because freedom won't come till the people rise we gonna vote and organize because freedom won't come till the people rise we gonna vote and organize because freedom won't come till the move with it now we gonna vote and organize because freedom won't come till the people rise we gonna vote and organize because freedom won't come till the two more times we gonna vote and organize because freedom won't come till the people one more vote and organize because freedom won't come till the people rise yeah that's right round of applause for yourselves thank you so much for singing thank you for filling this space we ready to go out and get the vote out and here in arizona we about to turn this state in the direction it need to go make sure that we got real democracy with people really participating thank you all one more time round of applause for yourselves for singing thank you so much hey beautiful wow that was amazing. Without further ado, we are going to actually continue to travel. We're going out to Ohio right now. Um, so thank y'all. Y'all look really familiar. I think I seen you in Arizona, but now we're in Ohio. And what we're going to do is <clears throat> today is actually the day of um, the today is the day. You know what? This is some real life things right now. I'm going to have to answer this because we have an elder who is ill. And <laughs> Chris, can I pass it to you right now? Because you do have a section. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Go for it. Well wishes to you as you take that call. Yeah. Great. So this, folks, uh, gives me an opportunity to, to do one piece that uh, I asked Lou for the chance to do, which is to let you all know that this event like all East Point sponsored events is free of charge. We don't, we don't charge for our offerings and we haven't in our six years of uh, being an organization. We operate on what many folks refer to as a gift, e gift economy basis. Um, and what that means for us is a lot of things and I won't spend a whole lot of time talking you through sort of the philosophy of it, but the, the short version is that we try to make our offerings as accessible as possible to as many people as possible by never charging a fee for our offerings. And in our six year history, what that has meant is that over 5,000 people have come through East Point offerings. The majority of those people are actually uh, incarcerated folks where we have done conflict uh, transformation and uh, mediation type of workshops, uh, but also many groups in, that, in the uh, wider community have come through our many workshops and offerings. Uh, and again, we've never charged anything for it. What we do is we make an invitation to folks who are able and whose hearts really move them to support our work. Uh, we invite you to do so. Uh, and if that's in the form of a, of a financial contribution, um, that would be wonderful. I'm just gonna share my screen real quick to show you just a couple of images that I hope will be helpful. Let's see if this works. You see the little boy with the duck? <laughs> this is sort of the, the image that captures the gift economics commitment that we have. There's a, a wonderful quote from Marshall Rosenberg where he says, when giving is done out of pure joy, you can't tell who the giver is and the recipient is. So I ask you to just consider like who's, who's feeling more joy in this interaction, the boy or the duck. And I also wanna just share this slide right here. Hopefully you can see that okay. To make a financial offering in support of Lou Aya and East Point Peace Academy. This is the address where we invite you to go to make an online donation, eastpointpeace.org backslash Lou, L-U, donate, Lou, donate. Uh, we created this um, specific uh, web address so that we'll know the contributions that came in from this particular offering. And I talked to Lou uh, before, you know, just a week or so ago, and we decided that we would just wait to see what comes in. And then he and I will just have an honest conversation about Lou's sustainability needs 
um, and about East Point's sustainability needs. And we'll decide uh, what feels right to our hearts in terms of how we divide that money. And I'll just also mention that one of the practices at East Point is to offer 10% of whatever comes our way to the Segorite Land Trust, which is an indigenous women-led initiative here to try to get uh, as much land as possible back under the stewardship of the Ohlone people here in the Bay Area. So Lou and I will sit down after, um, after a few days to see what comes into that particular web address and, uh, and then we'll divvy up the money. And I want to just give a plug for as much generosity as we can manage. You know, it's often the case that music and art are not seen uh, as the essential contributions they are to our movements. And Lou is a pioneer in this incredible work of creating and uh, giving voice to literally a soundtrack, a songbook for our movement. And it's incredibly essential. And East, East Point is proud to prioritize uh, this, this work and uh, hope you will, will pr prioritize it as well. And if that includes the ability to offer something financially, please go for it. Thanks, Molly, for putting that in the chat. Again, that, that address is there, eastpointpeace.org backslash Lou Donate. Lou, are you ready for me to pass it back your way? Yes, I am. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. Um, and yeah, everything is okay. I, I was a little worried that it was an emergency, but I think everything is good. So thank you for your patience and for understanding. Um, so like I said, what we're going to do is we're going to travel to Ohio. Now it is actually election day. Um, you, as you know, people have been called to the streets um, to make sure that these are safe, secure elections. Now, we want to make sure that our folks are also uh, doing the work of defending safety and, and respect for each person who wants to go out and vote. And so when we do that, we're now imagining, all right, here we go. Like I said, we're going to travel. So I don't know, it's probably cold this time of year in Ohio. Make sure you get your coat on. We gotta, we're going to be out there in the streets about a, you know, a, couple, a block from the polling station. Um, making sure if ever all the neighbors are welcoming. So go ahead, welcome the neighbors. Can you see them coming down the street? Hey, Ms. Johnson, you came through. Have, happy to see you. Thanks for coming out to vote. Cool, we, we welcoming them. And then people might be asking, who's this group of people? No problem, we're going to tell them right now. Okay, so we're going to identify ourselves. We're doing two things with this song right here, my people. Uh, this song is important to me personally because every single time that I come out in the name of democracy, what I'm doing is I'm defending the voice of the people. And I really believe that if we can activate our communities on a local level and we have the real democracy where people are participating, then we can tap into the wisdom of the people that we need to better shape our government. So what we're going to do is we're going to defend that democracy. That's why I'm out here. Thank you for being here with me. We're going to sing this song. Before we do, I'm going to ask you to say these words with me to the song. We simply are going to say, we are the defenders of. Let me hear you say that again. We are the defenders of. We are the defenders of democracy. Y'all sound beautiful. And now we're going to make sure that all the people know who would have it any differently, that we will not surrender this democracy. So let me hear you say, we will not surrender, no. Like we mean it, we will not surrender, no. We will not surrender our democracy. Y'all sound amazing. I can feel your passion. It's time to let the streets of Ohio hear you. Here you go. We are the defenders of, we are the defenders of, we are the defenders of democracy. Now, we will not surrender. We will not surrender, no. We will not surrender, no. We will not surrender our democracy. Let them know who we are. We are the defenders of, we are the defenders of, we are the defenders of democracy. Here we go.
And we will not surrender, no. We will not surrender, no. We will not surrender our democracy. Let's move our bodies to keep warm. We are the defenders of. We are the defenders of. We are the defenders of democracy. Let them know. We will not surrender, no. We will not surrender, no. We will not surrender our democracy. Sing it for our children. We are the defenders of. We are the defenders of. We are the defenders of democracy. And we will not. We will not surrender, no. We will not surrender, no. We will not surrender our democracy. One more time. We are the defenders of. We are the defenders of. We are the defenders of democracy. Let's close it strong. We will not surrender, no. We will not surrender, no. We will not surrender our democracy. A round of applause for yourselves. Thank you for singing. Y'all sound beautiful. Fin on these Ohio streets. I think a news crew right over there caught that. They probably about to have it on the news tonight, seeing people being civically engaged, protecting their neighbor's right to vote, letting people know that we ain't going to let nobody take over this country without our permission. Let's go. So right now, I uh, want to give want to give extra special thanks for those um, who joined us too. Because when we were singing out loud, I noticed some of the neighbors who were on their way to vote they just came over and started kicking it with us. So thank y'all, thank you to the neighbors who joined us. Sometimes music brings people in. They not even you know we're not even expecting, but with our song, with our beautiful sound, we are organizing them. So thank you, thank you for raising your voices. Yes. All right. So we traveling, we traveling, we traveling. I like it so far. If y'all um, also want to raise up uh, in the chat, want to give y'all a chance to just participate um, in there's <clears throat> If there is a place in which you want to sing the song, this song, it comes to you. Or if you're like, oh, that, def the, that song is just called uh, The Defenders of Democracy. And uh, this is an opportunity for you to think about the work that's coming in the next couple months because our family at, at, at East Point and, and myself and my crew, the Peace Poets, one of the things we've been thinking about is these actual scenarios. And so where are our people going to be over the next few months, over the next few weeks and beyond? Where, where are we going to have to sing? And to me, that, that essentially is where are we going to have to take action to protect each other, the land and the water, uh, which is always, a, I think, a, a great question. So I love that Oscar Grant Plaza in Oakland, definitely. Hopefully I'll be there with you singing this soon. And so where else might we be using these songs? This is to make it real for each of us as individuals, because I look at each one of you as song leaders, as people who will do the good work of bringing the power of music to your community, wherever you at. I believe that you can and will do that. A lot of you do it all the time. I've done it with y'all, uh, many of you who are gathered here. And so <clears throat> this is also uh, something where you're imagining the powerful work that's going to happen when your community takes action in the streets. So you, like I said, you go ahead, put that in the chat, or you could just imagine it for some, some of y'all that aren't able to chat, no problem. You go ahead and imagine where you might use these songs, because the next song is actually something uh, of what we call a song for de-escalation. A lot of people have been talking about the, the likelihood of tension uh, at polling places. Uh, and so for this one, I'm gonna invite you to travel where you will most likely be on election day. There is uh, a likelihood for a lot of people across this country that they will be face to face with those who disagree with them, uh, with those who don't want people voting. And so I think what we're acknowledging in this next song is both the hate and violence that currently exists across this land and our decision and our commitment to heal that hate. This song is called Heal That Hate uh, the reason it matters to me uh, is because I believe uh, that I owe my mother who taught me how to love and respect human beings. Uh, I owe that 
Uh, that's the reason that I come to the streets uh, when people are uh, murdered by the police, when people are uh, trying to steal and poison the water. That's why I show up because I was taught to love. And, uh, and I believe that my brother Emmanuel from the Peace Poets, he always reminds me, he says, uh, the first thing we got to do is, is begin this healing journey. And so with this song, we're going to talk about healing the hate in this nation. That's a big job, my people, but I believe in y'all. I believe in us. And uh, part of that, what that means right now is the second part of the song is we're going to choose democracy in this nation. So in the face, uh, there's a lot of amazing organizers who have thought a lot about this, who are smarter than me, who says we got to make sure people know what we're doing in this moment is choosing democracy, that that's an important step for all of our social movements is to make sure we choose democracy. And so that's what this song says. Uh, the energy we're about to bring to this next action, again, we're going to travel to the streets and um, everybody's in the, <clears throat> the place where they will most likely be in election day uh, to make loud and clear that uh, the actions that are beginning on election day that will be then across the country, these are the type of things that we're going to be singing, that we will heal the hate in this nation, that we'll choose democracy in this nation. And when we hear each other say that and sing that like we mean it, it becomes so much more possible. It becomes maybe even inevitable. So let's do it like we mean it. First, I'm going to ask you to say these words before we sing them. Let me hear y'all say, we're going to heal the hate in this nation. We're going to heal the hate. We choose democracy in this nation. We choose democracy. That's right. I love it. Y'all sound amazing. We're going to jump right into it. With this one, we're going to not be afraid to get loud, to get rowdy, to fill, to fill this place up, to make sure the people two blocks away can hear us. Here we go. Let's do it. Let's do it like we mean it. We gonna heal the hate in this nation. We gonna heal the hate. We choose democracy in this nation. We choose democracy. We gonna heal. We gonna heal the hate in this nation. We gonna heal the hate. Y'all sound great. We choose democracy in this nation. We choose democracy. Let's turn up. We gonna heal the hate in this nation. We gonna heal the hate. That's right. Cause we choose democracy in this nation. We choose democracy. You can dance with it. We gonna heal the hate in this nation. We gonna heal the hate. That's right. Cause we choose democracy in this nation. We choose democracy. Or tell Fox News. We gonna heal the hate in this nation. We gonna heal the hate and tell our cousins. We lose democracy in this nation. We choose democracy like you mean it. We gonna heal the hate in this nation. We gonna heal the hate. What do you choose? We choose democracy in this nation. We choose democracy. One more time. We gonna heal the hate in this nation. We gonna heal the hate. We choose. We choose democracy in this nation. We choose democracy. Make some noise for yourselves. Yes. I think like my spirit can kind of hear y'all singing. It's like I could feel you. It's like I really can hear your voices right now. It's really powerful. Um, so, so I'm so inspired right now to, to see you, to feel you, to hear you singing that song. Because that's uh, those we might be taught to see that as just a song. But for me, uh, it's a promise. It's an opportunity for us to join our voices in a powerful promise to heal. In a, in a place that's been so profoundly destroyed by violence and continues to be destroyed by hateful ideas. Thank you for being healers in the way that you are. Thank you for promising to heal. That is not a small thing. Remember, we need each other every step of the way. So in this moment right now, where we just kind of sang that in the streets to make sure everybody around us could hear that promise, I want to also acknowledge all the people that are already healing hate in this nation? Who are the community organizations in this neighborhood fighting for just housing? Who are the folks who are protecting the land and the water that is nourishing us every day? People are healing the hate in this nation. We are healing the hate in this nation. Do we feel good about ourselves? Do we let that inspire us? Do we let it give us strength and help us wake up in the morning? When we sing, we will heal the hate in this nation we are also doing it with all of the amazing 
organizers, activists, loved ones, friends who support each other every single day. This is what's happening. This is not a dream. When we sing that song, that is an affirmation of what is already real. We are healing, my people. Thank you, each one of you, for being the people who do that every single day. Beautiful. Thank y'all for taking it to the streets. We've been traveling a lot already. I didn't know if, if, if y'all knew you was going to get around like this tonight all over the country doing your thing. Um, for me, right now in this moment, uh, we're going to pause on uh, the, the songs for the, just about four minutes. And I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and ask y'all if you notice what have I been doing when I teach this song? Because like I said, each one of y'all is song leaders. Um, and many of y'all have led songs with me in the street. So you see, uh, and many of y'all do this too. Um, so what is the methodology that I've been using to teach these songs? If you want to go ahead and throw that in the chat, what is it that I've been doing? What's the, it's a, so there's kind of an order to it, right? Um, where, so we got like a, uh, the call and response exactly. So folks, okay, beautiful. So the very first thing that, that we do, and I'm going to look and see, I don't know if I might, I've been not sharing the screen just because I love looking at y'all while we sing together, to be honest, but I really was gonna, <laughs> I have these words written down. Um, but it's just so fun to, to look at y'all while we sing. Um, but I think for this part, I will just give me one sec here. Um, and I'm, I'm also looking at y'all. Y'all are breaking it down. So we got we're moving our bodies as we sing. We got breaking the song into parts. Short, easily learnable call and response. Speak it first, then sing. Cool. Thank you for that. Y'all really noticed that that particular um, part of the methodology. And so you get in it. Engaging us and animating the words with your body. It's super important, right? So uh, people will sing with the energy that we sing with. You know, so if I'm like, all right, y'all, we got a song. We gonna heal the hate in this nation. We gonna heal the hate. We choose democracy. It's gonna take a lot for like somebody in the back to really turn up and get excited about it, you know, because um, so we got to really do the work before we even begin to share a song sometimes of connecting it to ourselves and to make sure that we are be able to bring the energy we know it needs. And so, yeah thinking through where these songs could physically live so we can imagine ourselves being there. Absolutely. I love that. So that, that thank y'all for this, what we're doing right now. And uh, actually I appreciate Monica, Monica, because uh, what you're saying is actually reminding me that what were the first place you shared this actually might be a zoom call, <laughs> you know? So this is like, because I look at y'all as members of communities who not just net, it won't necessarily uh, the next place before you take it to the street. You might be like, hey, listen, I learned this on the Zoom last night. Let's do it on our Zoom because we're going to do it in the streets. Right. And so you I want to actually yeah, highlight that, that you can go ahead and invite people to also imagine being in the streets. That's a really important part of it. All right. Let's try to share sharing the screen real quick. Cool. So. What you're going to see here, um, we got a bunch of stuff written down. We, here we got the methodology. Let's see if I can make it big like this. Um, so what y'all looking at right now is as simple as I could get this methodology is always good because we are, we as song leaders, uh, when we hold the space, uh, it's really a spiritual role that we're going to bring a collective vibration that either connects us to our pain to our vision, to our love, to our dreams. And that's not a small thing. And so that's why we begin with gratitude for the people who have made it their business to be in the street with us, to be in the action with us. And then here, number two is grounding. And I think some of y'all mentioned that, right? Is what was my connection to it so that I can make it real and make it alive? You know, when I said, um, I'm here to, to heal the hate because my mother taught me how to love. And so like since that moment, like I owe it to her and to everybody who has taught me to love to make sure that I'm in the streets trying to heal this hate. So that's kind of that's the ground is to connect it to myself. And I invite you all to do that whenever you're sharing songs, because that that to me feels very important. 
in the grounding. We can also include maybe who wrote the song. I often don't don't include who wrote the song. If I if I don't, it's just because it came uh, through me or it came. It's a peace poet song, uh, which is true for all the songs that we're we're working on tonight. And that is the time to share where it comes from and to share anything else we want to say about it. And then, as y'all noted in the chat, then we're going to speak the lyrics. Why do I why, why speak the lyrics? Because sometimes you might have a song where it's like, you ever be in the street and you hear a chant and you're trying so hard to get it because you're down to sing, but you can't quite get those two, three words. That's why, we, that's why we go ahead and speak it so that it's as clear as possible. And you're also engaging people. Uh, there's a thing that I'll probably do with the songs that, we, that we're still to work on that is something even more specific, which is giving the speaking part uh, the chance to tap into emotion. So I might say, uh, we're going to heal the hate. Let me hear you say we're going to heal the hate in this nation. People might say it like they're just repeating it in, you know, without emotion. And I'm be like, and that's the, the speaking part. I might even say, I'm like, that's a declaration. We can't be shy about that. We're not going to speak it. Actually, we're going to get it. Let this whole neighborhood hear you say, we're going to heal the hate in this nation. Right. And so that's a chance for you to go ahead and use the lyrics of the song to tap into that emotion, get people to say it loud or speak it with, with anger or with love or whatever it needs. And then, of course, we sing. The reason I don't teach with a call and response is because if it's a lot, a lot of people, it can get a little confusing. Um, some people do that and they're good at it. Bless them. That's great. Uh, this is just one methodology. Um, so when I sing, I just like, you're going to learn it. Have faith in yourself. Here it go. And I start singing and I invite people to jump in as soon as they can, as soon as they're getting it. And then oh, I usually do say the phrase, I'm going to sing it through one time and then invite you to join me. That's a phrase I often use so that people can actually hear the, the melody one time. And now lead. Some of y'all mentioned as we were going, this idea of uh, leading the group saying like, you can move with it, we can get loud, sing it for our loved ones, uh, like you mean it. So that's the leading, that's number five there. Uh, and then you wanna give people the heads up before it's gonna close so that people can feel held. The song leader is able to be in the streets uh, and when people are really getting into it or maybe the chant is dying down, you're gonna let them know, let's do it two more times so that people feel held and they feel ready to fully continue to participate in it. And also, you're not the person who's like right after the chant is ending, like going into it the next time, you know what I mean? Like, we are the, oh, we done? My bad. You know, like it, it happens to all of us. We all been there. Um, and nothing wrong with that. But finally, like I said at the beginning, you know, we start with gratitude because it's no small thing that people made it their business to be with us in the street. Then we give gratitude to singing. This is acknowledging the power of what we're doing. Uh, singing is not just music. Uh, singing in the streets, singing for freedom, it's, uh, it's not entertainment. Uh, it's a spiritual connection to our purpose, to each other, to our vision of the world we deserve. So thank you all so much. Um, I'll check out the chat real quick just to see if there's something that y'all have any like thoughts or questions about that that feel really because um, we're going to jump into a few more songs and I just want to just want to honor that because to me uh, a few years ago I was like I can't just show up and lead songs what I, I and I really started focusing on doing some training around leading uh, training folks to lead songs and it's been really beautiful to see that happen especially in New York um, so are we going to get these songs sent after or um, on the call great question so I'm going to invite y'all actually right now Love you too, Jamie. I'm gonna go uh, go ahead and invite y'all um, to to probably the best way is to make sure that you uh, if you use social media to follow the peace poets because each one of these is gonna have a lyric video that we're working on right now. Oh wow, hold on one second. Um, we're gonna have to move this whole situation over here so I can connect this computer. Um, so go ahead and if you follow the peace poets, we're gonna make sure these lyric videos um, can make their way to you so that not only do you have the songs but and not only do you have the lyrics to the song um, but you also have the melodies right love a chant sheet but the one thing a chant sheet can't do is sing to you and so that's what we're that's what we're creating uh, we're creating the opportunity for folks to have a video in their hands and we're gonna put that out uh, at the peace board so if you use Facebook or Instagram go ahead you can, um, it's funny because I got my mic separate than my computer, so I got to kind of like keep it with me. Hold on one second. All right. 
So in terms of a chance sheet, follow the Peace Poets, and we're going to get it to you, as well as Chris and our friends at East Point will also make sure... There we go. We'll also make sure that um, you get all the lyrics. Amazing. Thank y'all so much. Uh, the one question is, would we need a megaphone? I like that question. Sometimes, you know, um, I believe in, in the voice of the people. And so even if there's five of us, actually, especially if it's a small group, almost better not to use a megaphone. Um, but if you really need it to feel like Amplify, that's, that can be super helpful. Um, I'm receiving the gratitude. Thank you, Jael. Um, Make sure I didn't miss anything here. Um, do you bring a guitar or another instrument? I love actually when people bring instruments to the streets. That can be amazing. If you if you can do that, definitely a great idea. Um, that's perfect. Uh, thank you for, um, yeah, those who kind of gave a little summary of what we were talking about here in the chat. That was great. Um, Perfect. So we're gonna go. We're gonna keep going back into the songs right now. Go back into our traveling. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna unshare my screen. I, let me see if there's a song that is gonna require. Okay. Let's try it one time with the. I'll share my screen and the lyrics up. See how we feel about that. Even though I'm gonna miss seeing y'all. Um. So this next song that we're gonna do. Um. This is actually another de-escalation song but it's one with a very specific purpose so a couple of uh, our friends george and zane who have done amazing trainings that a lot of us have been to i choose democracy one of the things they said was to keep our people safe sometimes the most important thing to do is sit down and so this song actually is an invitation for folks to sit down uh before we before we learn it and sing it we are going to go uh we are going to travel again and so right now, and we're going to go to a different battleground state up in Michigan. Michigan uh, does have a lot of uh, potential for tense situations, both on Election Day and beyond. And so whether that's folks uh, who are armed, whether that's the, the aggression or violence of the police uh, who want to respond to folks who are out trying to defend democracy, whatever that might be, we're going to go ahead and, uh, and take ourselves to Michigan right now. And I'm inviting you to, to join me in this scenario. So take a second, like I said, when we're traveling here, what we're doing is making it as real as possible. We're in a city plaza. There's a march coming down the street towards the plaza of folks who are either trying to scare people from voting, they're trying to disperse a crowd who's def who is defending democracy or calling out a coup. And it's very tempting for our group who's gathered here to, to wanna take off running. What the research shows is that in a situation like this, for those who are feel able and feel safe enough, we want to try to actually sit down. And so that's the scenario we're in. Thank you for imagining that with me. Thank you for traveling to the streets of a city in Michigan. Here we are together right now. There's a march coming, and uh, let's all just try to get in that. You, whether you have to close your eyes or whether you have to just imagine it for a second, just really try to take yourself there. Here we are. Family, right now, it's an intense situation. I know that everybody is going to want to disperse, but I need us to stay calm. We have a song that we, when we sing this song, everybody knows that what, the, what it means is we're going to sit down. This is a reminder that our power is actually in the earth, that right now our power is each other, and we're going to do this song like we mean it. Let me hear you all. Speak these words out as a way to tell everyone around us it's time to sit down to make sure we stay safe. Let me hear you say, we go down to the ground where our power is found. With the earth we rebirth. 
Liberation now. We're gonna sing this song like we mean it. Remember, sing it for the people next to you. Sing it to stay safe. Here we go. We go down to the ground where our power is found. With the earth we rebirth, liberation now. Let's try it again. We go down to the ground where our power is found. With the earth we rebirth, liberation now. Sing that. We go down to the ground where our power is found. With the earth we rebirth, liberation now. Get everyone sitting. We go down to the ground where our power is found. With the earth we rebirth, liberation now. Sing it again. We go down to the ground where our power is found. Stay calm with the earth. We rebirth liberation. Now everybody down. We go down to the ground where our power is found. With the earth we rebirth liberation. Now one more time. We go down to the ground where our power is found. With the earth we rebirth liberation now thank you all for sitting we're gonna be all right stay close stay connected we are now all together don't worry we have folks we have our friends our family our marshals on the outside who are protecting us doing their best to keep us safe we have folks right now who are planning on making sure that we can hold this space together we don't have to be afraid we are connected we got this all right, our next speaker is the following person. Boom. That's how the song in that moment can potentially be used, right? It's really instead of yelling to everyone, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, which can get a little hectic and doesn't really feel like de-escalation or calming. Uh, it's a moment. So if people can learn this song before, it's a way of saying in this moment, cool, what we're going to do is now. Now back together. Much. Great. You there? Yeah. You there, Lou? Yeah, I'm good. Is the internet all right? I think we're back. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Sorry if it was a little choppy for a second there. Um, so yeah, that that particular song, again, is a tool for. Oh, okay. Thank you so much for letting me know. It's a it's a tool. Uh, for sitting down. That's when we want to learn before the action and share with our friends, our affinity groups, our fellow uh, organizers who are going to be in the streets with for this type of stuff and be like, hey, look, we have a song, just the, the symbol, uh, a song that is a, a signal to sit down. So there we go. Sometimes music can be as intentional as that. That's one of the ways in which I, I like to use it. Uh, we have a lot of examples of songs with the poor people's campaigns where we would actually be like, when we start singing a song is the moment where we move into the street. That's an example of how that can work. Um, so encourage you all. I know many of you are songwriters and you are also uh, writing and teaching songs all the time. And so I also encourage you to think of your songs as tools for specific moments um, and make sure that you do that work with the organizers to let those songs be uh, usable in those moments. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to keep going. Um, now, the name of this workshop is Songs to Stop a Coup. Uh, I do want to do something in the, name of, <clears throat> in the name of the possibility, right? The preparation that's happening uh, is in a possibility that the election results will not be respected or the election process will not be respected. And one of the things that our other friends, our organizer homies who know about this type of thing say, it's important to call it a coup right that's so that is a very important thing is for us to take action immediately for us to declare ourselves nonviolent, and for us to call it a coup so the next song tries really clearly to do those things as succinctly as possible uh, where we're going to sing this song is actually going to be 
uh, marching through the streets of our city. So whatever city or town you are from, you're going to go ahead and imagine you are out there with your neighbors, with your friends, with your families, uh, with your fellow organizers, and you're going to be taking space. And people are going to be like, there's going to be narratives around that. Who are these people? What are the quote unquote protesters doing? Right. And those of us who think of ourselves as protectors, uh, as organizers, as lovers of humanity in our community, uh, what are what are we going to be able to say? This song invites us to make us really clear that we can say the following words. So this uh, is important for me. This is our struggle to make our points felt for us to control the narrative. Let me hear y'all say, the people are peaceful. We know what to do. We know what to do. There you go. We rising up together till we stop this coup. Amazing. Cool. And so I'm going to sing that song through. I'm going to invite you all to join. Here we go. The people are peaceful. We know what to do. We rising up together till we stop this coup. Let's try that. The people are peaceful. We know what to do. We rising up together till we stop this coup. Let me hear y'all. The people are peaceful. We know what to do. We rising up together till we stop this coup. Sing with joy. The people hey, are peaceful. We know what to do. We rising up together till we stop this coup. Let's move with it. The people are peaceful. We know what to do. Hey, we rising up together till we stop this coup. Like a party. The people are peaceful. Hey, we know what to do. Come on. We rising up together till we stop this coup. Y'all sound beautiful. The people, hey, are peaceful. Hey, we know what to do. We rising. We rising up together till we stop this coup. Tell your neighbors. The people are peaceful. We know what to do. We rising up together till we stop this coup. Tell your roommates. The people are are peaceful we know what to do we rising up together till we stop this coup tell your whole city the people are peaceful we know what to do what we rising up together till we stop this coup tell the media the people are peaceful we know what to do we rising up together till we stop this coup come on now the people what are peaceful, hey, we know what to do. We rising up together till we stop this coup. Like you mean it, the people are peaceful. We know what to do, hey. We rising up together till we stop this. Two more times, the people are peaceful. We know what to do. We rising up together till we stop this coup. Sing it to each other, the people are peaceful. Peaceful, we know what to do. We rising up together till we stop this coup. Hey, yes. <laughs> yes. Give it up for yourselves. Y'all sound amazing. I love to see y'all dancing in your kitchens, in your living rooms, having fun. Y'all um, are really giving me mad hope right now. Uh, I hope that y'all feeling that hope from each other, that inspiration. Um, it's honestly, it's honestly a gift, you know. Uh, sometimes we get in the mo mo mode of thinking, oh, it's a training. You know, we're going to learn to do a thing for the future. Um, I just want to honor that this is a real moment that we get to share, that we are here and we are alive and we are dancing and singing in our living rooms, in our kitchens, uh, in our, you know, bedrooms, wherever we at, probably keeping somebody awake doing it, probably, you know, what, making our neighbors think what's going on over there, but we doing it right. And, uh, and, and this is the way in which we're deciding to believe in the power of creativity, uh, to heal. Yeah. We out here in a car. I like that. And again, we catch people in traffic being like, yo, they, this, what are they listening to over there? What are they singing with? Um, so I'm really just so grateful, uh, for us doing this for us being here. Um, 
for us believing in the power of music uh, to to ground us, to connect us, to inspire us. Thank y'all so much. We just have um, a couple more songs that we that we gonna learn. Um, I'm just welcoming those who who just joined us. It's all good. We are gonna make sure you get these. Uh, it's really easy to connect to us. We're at the Peace Poets, and we're gonna make sure that both East Point and the Peace Poets have lyric uh, videos available to y'all uh, really soon. So I'm just put this here. Y'all probably already know. So that's the pe that's the Peace Poets, um, and <clears throat> we just put a lyric video out today for vote and organize there's going to be other lyric videos coming y'all way for each one of these songs so when i say a lyric video it's going to be the audio as well as like the words so that you can just press play and listen to it and rock with it and then teach it and use it in the street um so no, it's my pleasure you know i'm so grateful um to to each of you and so give me one sec let me grab this this other song here Word. So before we do this other song, uh, we took a moment to acknowledge that we're not just preparing, that we are living, that we are existing, we are singing and we are dancing. Um, it's all good. Uh, much love, Lena. Thank you for being here. Um, Peace, Chrissy, representing Cleveland. Yes. Shout out Cleveland. Cleveland is always so good. You know, I just going to shout out Cleveland. Um, and that's because of the people like everywhere. Um, and so but we've kind of acknowledged that we're we're doing this right now and i really do want to uh, also almost invite you into a deeper commitment to creative expression as part of building the world that we need uh y'all are the ones who believe y'all the ones who made it your business on a saturday night to be in this particular training uh, who are like, Sansa, stop a coup. I'm about that. Like, it's y'all. And so really, maybe what I'm inviting you into is not just a deeper commitment to the power of creativity to, to love and protect our people, but um, it's an invitation for you to continue to share that. Not just do it and be committed to it, but share that. Um, that uh, and thank you for the ways you already do that. Thank you for the ways you've taught me to do that. Because a lot of y'all on this call have been my teachers. Um, We're going to jump into this next song. Cool. So this is one of my favorite ways to write a song is with uh, organizations who do the work. Uh, so this was written with Election Defenders, um, with Showing Up for Racial Justice, who I got to meet with. And I was sharing some songs with them in a training. And I was like, hey, y'all want to write a song? Because y'all are definitely going to do actions. And they were like, yeah, let's try to write a song. And so... Little by little, we came, created the following song. Shout out to Z, who came up with the melody. Um, and I'm just like, yeah, we wrote this song in community. Um, and the words are, this is for a scenario you're going to realize. So if they refuse to kind of count all the votes in the, in the election, uh, that's what this song is for. It's for us to take the streets with a really clear message. And the message is just uh, <clears throat> every person counts, so count every, every vote. Defending our democracy is our only hope. So count, count, count every vote. And so those are the words to the song. Uh, the kind of thing, the way in which I want to sing it with you all tonight, uh, because every person repeats three times, I kind of want to challenge you to either like look around and see the people around you, or you want to think of three people in your life every single time you say, every person, every person, every person counts. I want you to think of your friends laughing, smiling, right? People do count. And that's actually a powerful thing to say every person counts. That's why I love this song that I wrote with Show, Show, Showing Up for Racial Justice. Um, and uh, we're going to jump right into it. That's my invitation. Make sure that you think of the people that you love and, and how much they count and why we need to make sure their voice and vote, vote counts too. So it's like this. Uh, first, we're going to say these words. Every person, every person, every person counts. So count, count, count every vote. Defending our democracy is our only hope. So count, count, count every vote. 
Beautiful. My asterisk here is that obviously uh, defending our democracy, you know, we take an ad broadly as our only hope, you know, uh, you know, our hope is in love, solidarity, justice, you know, overcoming white supremacy, capitalism, patriarchy. That's like a real, that's a real hope. But you know what I mean? We do also defending the democracy is part of that. Cool. So here you go. <clears throat> and shout out Miriam. Thank you for putting that in the, in the chat. If folks want to see it, I just uh, really am appreciating being able to see you while I sing. So I'm not sharing my screen. Here you go. Every person, every person, every person counts. So count, count, count every vote. That's right. Defending our democracy is our only hope. So count, count, count every vote. Let's do that together. Come on. Every person, every person, every person counts. So count, so count, count, count every vote. Defending. Defending our democracy is our only hope. So count, count, count every vote. Think of those people now. Every person, every person, every person counts. That's right. So count, count, count every vote. Defending, defending our democracy is our only hope. So count, count, count every vote. Just for the people who forgot. Every person, every person, every person counts. So count, so count, count, count every vote. That's right. Defending our democracy is our only hope. Sing it now. So count, count, count every vote. Let's do it one more time. Every person, every person, every person counts. That's right. So count, count, count every vote. Tell the Supreme Court. Defending our democracy is our only hope. That's right. So count, count, count every vote. Yes. Thank y'all so much. Shout out to the Surge Election Defenders for writing that with us. Um, y'all sound amazing. So I appreciate the, are there song sheets? Um, what we're going to do is get folks song videos. Um, and so, uh, there's going to be lyric videos coming y'all way. Thank you for the question, Gabriel. Thank you for all your organizing that you do in the world. Appreciate you. Um, so <clears throat> we only got a little bit of time left. And, uh, for me, there's a, yeah, I feel like a couple important songs that that are for this moment um and one of them i, I wasn't sure um if i was gonna was gonna do with y'all um but I, this is a time to be real to be honest with each other um because i think people talk about nonviolence um as a force more powerful that's one of the ways in in which we refer to it uh this is a moment where a lot of our loved ones are really connecting to nonviolence as a strategic force in which we as a mass movement can nonviolently potentially shut down this country if we have to we could shut down our town our city the highways and make the government understand that it, we the people will not participate uh in the establishment of a uh, further establishment of fascism we're also understanding those of us who are organizers like those for who I know are with us tonight, uh, that we have the opportunity to build deeper relationship, deeper community, a more powerful, active force. And so this, this song is called The Force More Powerful. And uh, I'm going to invite you all to think about how powerful it is, uh, how powerful your love is. And so as activists and organizers, you know, this doesn't usually make it on like the bullet points of the press release. But this is maybe the thing that keeps us coming back again and again. So take a second to think about what you love right now. Think about the land that you love that replenishes you. Think about the people in your life whose hugs or whose voice or whose smile or whose laugh restore you. Feel the presence of those who have loved you. 
filled you up with love so that you can give it to your friends, families, neighbors, strangers. That love is here right now. It's all around you. That love is here so that it can keep healing you. That love is in you so you can keep giving it to other people to continue to heal. Thank you for bringing it here to this moment. Thank you for bringing it to the, the streets. Thank you for bringing it to the organizing meetings. Thank you for bringing it back home when you come back home because we need it there too. Thank you for bringing it to the quiet moments you have with yourself where you need to forgive yourself for the moments when you need a little bit of energy when you wake up in the morning. Thank you for bringing that love. You're going to need it. And we're going to go ahead and dare say that that is actually a force more powerful than the guns in our enemy's hands. We're going to dare say that it's our love for all creation that will liberate this land. Sometimes it's hard to have hope for liberation in this land with everything we've seen here in Turtle Island. And only something as mystical and magical as love. So thank you for bringing it here. Thank you for reflecting on it. Thank you for welcoming it in, into this space. We're going to sing this song. First, we're going to say these words like we are absolutely certain that it is true. Let me hear you say, we have come with a force more powerful. than the guns in our enemies' hands. It's our love of all creation that will liberate this land. So we sing this song. We're going to imagine singing it out into all kinds of different challenges that are coming our way. And we're going to sing it into the minds and hearts of maybe those who are uh, enacting state violence of those who are willing to use violence against those we love. We're going to remind them and remind ourselves and remind each other that our love is a force more powerful than the guns in our enemies' hands. Here we go, y'all. Let's do it like we need it. We have come with a force more powerful than the guns in our enemies' hands. It's our love of all creation that will liberate this land. Try that. We have come with a force more powerful than the guns, than the guns in our enemies' hands. It's our love. It's our love of all creation that will liberate this land. Sing, we have come with a force more powerful than the guns in our enemies' hands. It's our love. It's our love of all creation that will liberate this land. Fill it, fill it up. We have come with a force more powerful than the guns in our enemies' hands. That's right. It's our love of all creation that will liberate this land. Celebrate that. We have come with a force more powerful, come on, than the guns in our enemies' hands. It's our love. It's our love of all creation that will liberate this land. Sing it with that love. We have come with a force more powerful than the guns in our enemies' hands. It's our love of all creation that will liberate this one more time. this 
Lamb. <laughs> I saw, looked like, I don't know what happened there, y'all. Did it, I don't know if my internet went out. I was in the zone, though. We were, we were praying with it. Um, thank y'all. Uh, it's really, it's really beautiful to see y'all sing, um, to, um, yeah, to fill up the, yourselves and the space around you with that, with that affirmation of the power of our love. Wow. I'm really moved by y'all. Um, just thank you. Thank you. Um, humbled and inspired by each of you. Um, sorry again about the internet there. It seemed like it froze in mid song. Um, but I felt like y'all kept singing probably knowing, you know, knowing my people. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for the affirmation. Um, all right, beautiful. We're going to just do, well, actually, uh, we're going to do one more song. Um, I really want to, uh, yeah, there's a, um, Another thing that I've been I've been listening to the organizers. If I come down here like this, you can still hear me good. Left. Cool, right? Because the mic is up here. <laughs> okay, cool. I'll stay. I'll stay up here. Um, so, one of the things that uh, our organizer homies and and respected elders have been ta talking to us about is. This is a little bit of a different moment for those of us who normally organize uh, for causes like uh, stopping pipelines and um, police accountability, because really in those moments, we're just being as direct as possible that uh, we will stand for absolutely you know, nothing less than justice for those who have been murdered or for like um, the, the, the health and cleanliness of our water, for example. The reason it's different from my understanding, and this is what I feel like I'm learning, is it's a moment in which a uh, movement to protect democracy and stop a coup needs to be needs to be big. It needs to be open, and it needs to welcome people in who aren't necessarily used to doing this uh, this type of work with us. And so, I thought to myself a lot: What are the songs that can make people feel uh, like they want to step in? And this is a new thing for me, right? For most of y'all who have done sang with me, you know, shutting down like, you know, Chase Bank or something. We ain't trying to be gentle about it. Uh, that's right. Shout out, shout out Monica right there. Um, and so one of the things that in this moment it, it, that it feels a little bit um, challenging to me, I want to own that, is, is that huge openness, welcoming, it kind of doesn't, you know, you can have kind of messed up politics, but come on in, you know, like, that's how I feel like there's a lesson in that, and it's beautiful, and, uh, and I'm trying to learn from it, but the song that we want to do to close out um, is actually going to try to expand our idea as the left, or organizers, or activists about what the movement is, and a lot of times, uh, my brothers and the Peace Poets, they often say, uh, you know, the movement and protest and, and justice work is not just in the streets at a march. It's not just in, you know, shutting down the highway or shutting down the bank. It's way beyond that. It's those of us who are living with love and dignity and respect. It's our neighbors who are going to, you know, waking up and just treating people with kindness and dignity. Um, it's those who advocate for the person next to them. It's those who demand accessibility for our family. Uh, it's those who are showing up against every type of discrimination in countless ways every day. That's really the movement. That's the movement. And so we're stepping back from this idea that the movement is folks who are taking the streets. That's only, that's only part of it. And so then this song is called We Are The Movement. So again, I'm gonna invite each one of you to welcome the people in your life who maybe society or even us that haven't considered the movement, but you really respect them and admire them. You respect the way they live. So think of somebody in your life who is a teacher to you who maybe hasn't been you know, an activist or an organizer, but uh, you, you love and respect the way they live their life. You can actually go ahead and put their name in the chat so we can kind of bring them in um, into this space. Or if it's more comfortable, you can even come off mute and say their name.
Um, me and Maya, my dad, Barbara, my brother John, Daniel. Hi. Oh, <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> hey y'all, I'd um, like to introduce y'all to my partner, Nidia Alicia. She can... Hello. <laughs> Hi, Dave. Hey. Oh, I see David. And Julie, Yay. what's up, y'all? And Julie. Uh, so we're gonna we we we're, uh, sh she our special guest. Um, <laughs> let's sing this last song, um, and y'all in for a treat because uh, she sing way better than me. Oh my gosh, so, <laughs> so what we're what we're doing just um, you know is we're honoring all those people that are the movement. You know, um, yeah, my aunt Marsha, Beth, Joan, um, yeah, Penny. Auntie Penny, Allison, thank you, Auntie Allison. Those, thank you, Gail, for bringing them in here. Um, they're present for sure, um, our teachers. So we're going to sing this last song, y'all. Um, this is, um, we are going to imagine um, not just being, we're not just going to imagine being in one place, um, but right now we're going to travel in a different way. Everyone here in our gathering is going to imagine uh, every single city in town um, people walking out their front doors and making it their business uh, to bring song and truth and love and commitment to justice into the streets of our country. We're imagining an entire uh, transformation, right? We haven't, in my lifetime, I've never seen that. I've seen beautiful mass protests. I've seen movements. I've seen incredible uh, activation of people power. Um, but we're imagining a new thing. We're imagining the streets of every city filled. We're imagining... Uh, our step, our, our, you know, we're imagining all these folks we have here, uh, our dad, our aunties, uh, Beth, Joan, all those folks, Karen, um, they're all, they're all going to be out there. Um, and they're going to be on, maybe they're on their front stoop, maybe they're in their living room, but we all singing this together. Um, this song is called, We Are the Movement. And it's uh, words are simple. Um, so what we when we sing it tonight, we're going to sing it like a prayer that uh, not just for this election, but for um, way beyond that, folks are going to actually show up uh, for their neighbors, for their loved ones. We're, we're imagining we're imagining that world. We're going to make it real with our song. We're going to cast it like a spell uh, into the rooms that we are, into the neighborhoods that we're in. And is we gonna need it. So do your best with this spell, you know? Like, get your wand sharp and everything, you know? Like, this is gonna, it's gonna be good. Um, here, and I wanna invite you to say the words um, before we sing them. So, we gonna say, we are the movement. We are the movement. Liberation moving. Liberation moving. For every single human. For every single human. We have come to win. We have come to win. Let's do it one more time. Again, this is our spell. We are the movement. We are the movement. Liberation moving. Liberation moving. For every single human. For every single human. We have come to win. We have come to win. Let's sing it like we mean it. We are the movement, liberation moving for every single human. We have come to win. We are the movement. We are the movement. Liberation moving for every single human. We have come to win. Sing that now. We are the movement. Liberation moving for every single human. We have come to win. That's why we sing. We are the movement. Liberation moving for every single human. 
We have come to win. Let me hear y'all. Come on. We are the movement. Liberation movement. For every single human. We have come to win. Like we know it's real. Come on, y'all. We are the movement. Liberation moving for every single human. We have come to win. Let me see y'all move with it. Come on. We, we are, are the movement. Liberation moving for every single human. We have come to win. Keep that going now. We are the movement. Think of those people. Liberation movement. Honor the movement, y'all. For every single human. We can do this. We have come to win. Sing like we are not afraid. Come on. We, we are, are the movement. Liberation movement. For every single human. We have come to win. Two more times. Sing it with love. We, we are, are the movement. Liberation moving for every single human. We have come to win. One more time, cast that spell. We, we are the movement. Liberation moving for every single human. We have come to win. Thank y'all so much. Thank you so much. It was beautiful to sing with you. Uh, thank you uh, for believing in the power of music, uh, for taking this time. Um, I want to um, also just end the way we started to uh, gratitude for uh, to Creator, to our ancestors, to our elders, mm -hmm. to our to the children. Um, that that beauty and wisdom and love and joy that has been given us, we may continue to give to the world around us and uh, that we may go ahead and use use the magic of music to do it uh, as one of the ways in which in which we do. Uh, I really want to offer uh, gratitude for, for the spirit that also just moved in us as we sang that last song. Um, uh, my partner, Media, she just kind of, she comes with a lot of spirit, so I didn't want to bother her. She could do a lot of work going, you know, <laughs> but she was in there. I said, yo, sing this last song with me. Yo, I was dancing in the other room. I it, was like... Hey, she was dancing with us, you know? Um, but, yeah, I just want to thank y'all and um, really um, <sighs> close by um, by having the clear intention that, that um, in case, like, no one maybe tells us from now until the election um, that we got to love and take care of ourselves and those around us um, as we fight for political justice. Um, remember that justice also starts with just being, just loving yourselves. So we love y'all. Uh, we send each one of y'all tons of, of love and joy and respect. And please be gentle with yourselves um, and also believe in the power within yourselves because whatever we need to happen in this country, um, that power exists within us, and we can do it, um, organizing, building. Um, shout out, um, you know, to, to East Point for having us, to David uh, Sonet for connecting us, for also being my teacher and always in the power of art in our movements. Um, and we're receiving y'all thank yous. <laughs> um, I'm going to take a second to, to read through them, but uh, we're going to close in that way. Uh, thank you all for being here. You know, you all can... Um, Chris, is it okay? We just invite folks to come off mute too, so I can hear your voices if y'all just want to. Um, yeah, go ahead and unmute yourselves, folks. Let's shower. Lou and Nidia. Thank you, Lou. Thank you. 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 Yes, right. Thank Hallelujah. you so much. I hope. Hi, right. Virginia. I love you. Bye, love Mary. You. Bye. 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 Yes. Bye, <laughs> Angel. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye.
It's amazing to see y'all. What a gift. Oh, so beautiful. Thank you again for Thank coming. You, we got together. Drink a lot of water. You know? <laughs> Run your bath if it's not too late. There you go. Mm -hmm. Got to replenish, replenish. We, we did a lot of singing. Make sure y'all stay connected to us here at East Point and the Peace Poets. We're going to make sure y'all get all those lyrics and songs uh, within the next few days, okay? They're coming your way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Thank you so much. All right. Peace, y'all. Oh, nice. All the way from the desert. Nice. <laughs> we can't complain. Damn, great to see you. Yeah. Thanks, Doug.